Cheeky Tower Buddies, let's take a look at Dr. Feelgood down at the Doctor's. Great little intro there. So, two guitars. First guitar, I'm just playing a G chord. So just a G power chord doing a shuffle. Okay, and then the other guitar I'm playing D, F, B flat. So seven, six, six. Then C, F, A. Then C, E, A, five, five, five. So we've got seven, six, six, five, six, five, 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 five. And then finally, uh, landed on the G chord, G, B, D, G. So. Okay. And then after each time I play that sequence, there's a little lick in between. So the first one is... I'm playing D and G, and then pulling off F, E, D. And then playing an open G, so. And then, a little bend up on B flat. Okay, so I'm bending up on the six, releasing. And this is quite rough and ready, so you don't have to get the pitch exact because it's quite rock and roll. Then, the, then uh, chord sequence again. So, bend it on B flat, open G, back to the sequence. Then after the next one, similar. I'm just playing an E flat this time, bend, an E natural. Sorry, bend it up to F. And again an open G so and then once more time and the third time just slide up the neck and slide down again and again hit an open G so And that's the intro. Next we'll look at the chord sequence. Okay, so very straightforward chord sequence, basic kind of 12 bar pattern. We've got four bars of G, and I'm playing that classic kind of adding the sixth, the major sixth, the E there for that shuffle rhythm. So adding the E note on seven. Then going to the C chord, and again, adding an A this time on seven on the D string. Back to G, D, and C, G. Okay, nice and straightforward. And over those chords, the second guitar adds a couple of little licks in there. So when we go to C, we've got Okay, um, the bar of C and then that. So we play, just like the intro, D, F, B flat. Then the kind of F shape, C, F, A. Back to what's the sort of top part of a B flat. And then this time going up to a C. E, G, C. 
down at the doctor's. And then back to the G. So playing the same as we played on the intro. Okay, just the same uh, little sequence there. And then over the D chord, uh, playing that little classic little rockabilly trick of playing the sixth of the scale, the E, with the flat and third and giving it a slight bend. Then on the C, play the same. And then over the final G chord, a little lick there. So I'll just play um, through that. I'll put it on a loop. So we've got the G for four bars. And C. And here it comes. Yeah. Alright, so that's the main chord sequence. So that final little lick after we've done. I'm playing double stop, D and G. And then pulling off a D flat, C and B flat. So I'm using the G blues scale. So 3, 3, 6, 5, 3. And then two G's on five. And then I'm playing B flat to B and I can catch that D as well. You know. So three, four, and also, you know, I can just catch that three as well. And then two Ds on five on the A string. Okay, and that's basically the uh, chord structure. And again, of course, you can throw in lots of little licks around the G blues scale. Hey, that was the solo there. Great kind of rock and roll solo. Classic licks in there. So we start with... It's all around um, mainly the G blues scale. So I'm starting with a little rake across the third, uh, the third fret. Really just catching that top knob, but raking. You know, kind of not really playing the notes, just sort of picking across them and then picking that three, the G note. So, uh, G, F, D, and then, so three, six, three, and then bend it up, F to G. And then, and then rake it again, and playing it a B flat. Three, six, three, three. So, and then, same again, raking, G, F, D, and then bending twice to G. So, okay, and the second one, Kind of starts the same, just the same, and then so and then this time I'm playing C, B flat, open G, and then two G's on the fifth fret. So So five three open five five, and then next lick is I'm playing B flat open G B flat, then C B flat open G, and then B flat. 
and then bending C, then picking D and G, three and three. So bend on five, and then play F and D, six and three. So, so, sorry. Then slide up to um, eight for a G. So, and then this next lick, it's got a big bend, I'm playing, I'm moving up to the eighth position, and then playing I'm bending up to C, and then I'm pushing it a semitone further, and then pushing it a semitone further still to get it towards a D. So, so some big bends there. Then releasing back to B flat. So all on eleven. So bend it up to... Um, but if you wanted not to do the big bends, you could just play... So you could... You could play it like that instead if you wanted to. So G, C, C, C sharp with a semitone bend. Then bend to the tone, then play B flat. So that's another way to play it without that big bend. So you can have go or sorry. Yeah, so there's two ways. But I like that big bend, it sounds really cool. And then we go back down to the third position. Play, and play double stop. And then F and D. So three, six, three, bend on C for two Ds. And then release C, B flat, G. Okay, and then we've got that classic kind of rockabilly sort of sound. So I'm starting on G. So G on five, then B flat to B natural. So, so three to four, and D on three, and then going uh, G. F, E, D, three, six, five, three. And then playing A, G, F, E, D, five, three, six, five, three. So slowly. And then after that, I'm playing a bend on C, bend it up, D, G, F, D, so, and then, and I'm picking these E and B flats, okay, uh, so five and six, And then G, F, G, F. C, D, B flat, G. So, three, six, three, six. Five, three, three, five. C, D, B flat, G. 
then B flat to B natural, hammer, and then finish on a D note. So that, that section slowly. Um, And on with the rest of the song. Great tune and enjoy Down at the Doctors. But I hope you don't have to go yourself. Thank you. <laughs> 